What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military, just the Resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Ket, mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not Resistance? I a police, purely ornamental, gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> How is the resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the cat capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see.
What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Sam, what's this? The decontamination console for visitors to the med center. Touch the start pad to use it. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angar and injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar, kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Ishari. Ryder. Wish I could join in down there. I could use a workout. 
You know the drill. Again. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for Asari commando training. We're the aliens. For some Angara, we're the only humans they'll ever see. That's huge. Whatever happens. We'll make a better show than the cat. Saw a few Angara crying on my way here. Wonder if they heard about exaltation. I wanted to stop and say something. What can you say? Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Hey, selling an alien weapons would make me nervous too. I don't do this for Ephra. I respect the Moshai. Thought it would be all snazzy fights and heroic rescue. 